Our guest is Mr. Rupert Wolf Murray, uh, a journalist and a Scotsman who observed Romania for many, many years. How many years, Rupert? Um, 20 years on, on and off. Uh, how come that you, you are living now, you are based now in Bucharest? Well, it's a challenging place to be. There's uh, still lots of things to be done in Romania, lots of reforms that need to start. And uh, it's a big challenge working here. Back home in Britain, where I'm from, everything's been done, everything's been set up. And uh, you can only ever be a component in a very efficient machine. You can't actually change or build the machine. Uh, now you represent in Romania one of the European leading rehabilitation clinics. It's about Castle Craig Hospital, located near Edinburgh. Uh, but I have a question uh, from our readers. Um, did you have problems with uh, addiction? Not really, no. But when I was a student, I used to drink too much and take too much marijuana. And um, I didn't think that was a problem. I really didn't. I thought... I've subsequently found out that uh, most alcoholics think they have it under control. And this confidence stops them getting treatment for many, many, many years. And in fact, the first step of the treatment is is the, you have to admit that you have no control over it. But the other interesting thing I found out about me personally was that um, um, I used to smoke a lot of marijuana and really enjoy it and think, well, no problem here, it's not addictive, I'm not addicted, and I don't think I was. But what I found out by studying addiction in the last year is that marijuana is actually a big problem, um, which is new, it, this is new information for me. And what I was told was, um, by a, an expert in London, was that uh, um, in his experience of psychiatry in London, marijuana creates the biggest problem for psychiatrists. And I didn't really understand why this was, but apparently um, the marijuana has been getting stronger and stronger over the years. The THC content has been increasing a lot. And um, someone else told me that about 10% of marijuana heavy users um, go psychotic, go a bit crazy, in fact. It, it triggers something in the brain and uh, sends, them, mm -hmm. sends them off. Um, so my view of marijuana has changed completely. I used to think it was a harmless thing, and now I realize it's actually quite dangerous. Now, uh, it's a new star, appeared a new star in the field of addiction. You know about the new ethnobotanical epidemic, I'm sure. Uh, in such a case, Romanian media described the story of a mother who chain-tied her son to a radiator in order to help him through the rehab phase. Uh, why do you think it comes to such a situation? This was a story from Bucharest, Well, um, a recent one. I know that for families of uh, people addicted to drugs and alcohol, it's terrible. The life is actually ruined often, not only the mother and father, but the whole family and friends and families and husbands, partners, girlfriends, boyfriends. It becomes a disaster for anybody associated with a serious alcoholic or drug addict. So you can understand why they do crazy things like chain them to the radiator. And um, one of the things that we do at Castle Craig is that we take family therapy very seriously because we look at the family as part of the problem, no, part of the solution in the sense that... Um, they they can help them find a solution but they need help also but but i see in the in, in a flyer of the castle craig hospital which you represent written in bold uh, addiction is a family illness yeah uh, this is uh, not so common heard in romania uh, why family illness well in scotland they say that about 20% of families are of people are affected by somebody who's uh, addicted, which means that... Uh, by their behavior. By the behavior, yeah. Mm -hmm. And usually the family of, of the, addic the, the addict is so stressed out and they've probably given up jobs and s spent money, had money stolen from them. They've had all kinds of problems and they, they get desperate. And, um, and, and you can't cure somebody by chaining him to radiator, by locking him up in a prison, by putting him in a hospital for a few days, by changing the blood like they do here in, in one course. You have to treat the, the whole thing psychologically. And not only the person, but also his environment, which means that you have to help the family. First of all, you help the family understand what is addiction. It's a disease. You help them understand this. You help them find 
with uh, steps to help. And also you look in the community. What community resources are there available? Is there an Alcoholics Anonymous, uh, Narcotics Anonymous? Is there some kind of support group? Is there a church group? What is there in that person's community which can help the person? Because he, he, he's like a newborn baby when he gives up the drug. He's completely lost and hopeless, and he needs um, all kinds of support from the family, from the medics, from uh, support groups. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a very complex process. Um. Minnesota is a therapy method used at Craig, Castle Craig Hospital. What, what is it about so exactly? Minnesota Method is uh, named after the Minnesota Mental Health Hospital in mm -hmm. the 30s, I believe, or 40s, when they, uh, they took the Alcoholics Anonymous method of the 12 steps, which was uh, basically 12 steps that individuals have to take to give up uh, alcohol. Starting with that one I mentioned earlier, step one is you admit you have no control over the substance. You're just a victim. You're a helpless victim of this disease. And then there's all kinds of steps you have to take uh, with mentors, other, other uh, former alcoholics who help you through the process. And um, the AA uh, method is basically you, every time you want to drink, every evening, you go to one of these meetings, usually in a church hall or in a basement somewhere or in some wherever they can get free free space and the other a alcoholics talk about what they're going mm -hmm. through and somebody might say i really want a drink give them a coffee others will say um i managed to get through another day they say a day at it's, a time it's, it's, a, it's about a supportive method yeah. yeah so that was the original aa thing but the mm -hmm. the the minnesota hospital took that and added to it uh therapy So, family therapy. Well, no, not mm. yes, that yes. came too. But mm. there's all kinds of other therapies that you do with it. Like, for instance, good nutrition is essential because without good nutrition, your brain goes. If you don't get vitamin B into uh, the into mm -hmm. the brain, I understand. It, it's about a more holistic approach. More holistic, yeah. Uh -huh. I understand. So, f for for example, at Castle Craig, we use Minnesota method, which means that is that. AA philosophy at the base with 27 therapists working mm -hmm. from different angles mm -hmm. uh, on all kinds of different therapies and uh, all supervised by a psychiatrist, by so it's medically supervised. In, in Romania, the most common type of addiction treatment is uh, substi substitution treatment with yeah. methadone. Why, why do you think uh, the reason for that? Well, it's the same in, in my country as, as the, the most common treatment is mm -hmm. substitution treatment. So they give heroin addicts uh, methadone because methadone is an artificially made uh, uh, opiate. They say it was made initially for Hermann Goering in the Second World War so he could um, have his heroin fix without mm -hmm. having to import heroin. Um, but it's very... Uh, methadone is very good for st statisticians in the health service because it means that they can distribute loads of drugs to loads of heroin addicts and say we're treating X thousand of people, mm -hmm. but what they don't say is that we're not. We're just substituting the heroin addiction with another addiction. And um, I met someone the other day who was running an NGO here for addicts, um, for heroin ad addicts, and he said to me that methadone is more addictive than heroin. And he's been trying to get off methadone for years, and it's very difficult to get off methadone. And they say the withdrawal symptoms are terrible from methadone, and, and we think it's a terrible thing that's happened with methadone. Mm. But the kind of therapy practice and uh, Castle Craig Hospital, uh, is it not expensive for the financial possibilities of an ordinary Romanian? Yes, it's very expensive. And unfortunately, this treatment is only available for um, rich people or people who have, have private health insurance. So unfortunately, the treatment isn't available for uh, ordinary mm. Romanians. But the same is true in Scotland. Most Scottish people can't afford this either. But Castle Craig Hospital wants to change the situation in the addiction treatment field in Romania. So how it yeah. will do it? So we want to help uh, to build the capacity of uh, here by organizing some seminars with um, um, other people working in this field. So mm -hmm. we can have seminars with MedLife and other partners who who um, are interested in learning about Minnesota method and how to deal with this because there are some people working on this in Romania there's some very good uh, specialists v very few but they're very good the ones I've found and the state also has some treatment centers with, through ANA mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they need support they need help they need seminars they need um, as professionals they it would be in their interest to have seminars with other professionals from Scotland so if things uh, pick up we we um, want to organize some seminars and and um, share our, some of our experience.
which is you know 20 years of experience in Scotland and the Minnesota method's been going for over 60 years and it's 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 been very effective generally the 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 uh, the success rate is around 50% of patients actually come off the drug or alcohol so in this way addiction is becoming a curable disease no 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 uh, uh, sorry alcoholism is an incurable disease mm-hmm. so you can you can be abstinent for 20 years but you're always an alcoholic so you have to maintain abstinence and avoid drink they say um one drink is not enough and um uh, a thousand is um is is too many um so you, you never um get enough if if you start if you just have one drink you might go on a drinking spree for several days and um so you just have to control yourself and learn all kinds of disciplines which is where this, the 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 method is is useful because you have to address your personal issues and all your demons and um address your problems with in the group therapy the other types of therapy it's a very psychological approach um medics will be the first people to say we can't help mm-hmm. because it's not a medical problem really it's a psychological psychiatric problem and family uh, plays and an important role definitely family but they I, i stress that the family themselves really needs help in this because to be a mother or father of an addicted child is a nightmare and they themselves become completely stressed out and unreasonable and do things like chain kids to, to radiators it's it's not surprising because because they they get driven crazy and they need recognition and support so you can't just treat the kid and expect things to change you know mm-hmm. it's no good just locking them up for a few days and stopping it for a few days like in prison in britain for example is one of the um biggest places that they get addicted because drugs in prisons in britain are absolutely everywhere they're smuggled in daily apparently by the police officers uh, and um so if you want to get you know they lock them up partly to stop them taking drugs but then there they get introduced to even more drugs